What's up guys, it's your boy with another YouTube video coming at you from the basement per usual and today we've got kind of a kind of a special thing here, kind of a kind of a cool thing. I, I generally like this guest that we have today, sometimes, most of the time, and that guest is of course my older brother who has shown up like one other time, the amazing Andrew Rawlings. What's good YouTube? So because he's here today, we are going to be doing a tier list and the last person I did a tier list with was my sister, so I thought it was only appropriate to bring the brother around this time. We're going to do a Pixar tier list, all 26 films, and by all 26 films, I mean uh, most of them, because frankly, we haven't seen all of them. Me and Andrew have already gone beforehand and talked about some of the movies that we haven't seen, and basically, we're both old, because we haven't seen any of the new stuff. The ones that we have both not seen are the following. Luca, Soul, Turning red, and we've not seen Lightyear. What's up, Greg? So I'm gonna leave those at the bottom for the tier list. If you're wondering why they're just kind of chilling there, that's why we haven't seen them. We're gonna go in chronological order, and the first movie in Pixar history is Toy Story, 1995 classic. If you have an issue and you hate Toy Story, it's we're not gonna make a friendly YouTube video. Well, you've got a friend in me because I I kind of like <laughs> Toy Story. I can't lie, I think well it's played. a pretty good, pretty good film. My biggest issue with it, I think, is that it, animation quality-wise does not hold up all that well. So where would you, in the perfect world, where, what tier would you put Toy Story? I'm thinking B. If you're taking the OG Toy Story and you're saying it's mid? That, that's exactly what I'm saying, and it's just because of how it holds oh, up no. now. That might make S tier for me because it was so groundbreaking, because it was the first of its kind. <laughs> But can we compromise to A tier? I, I see your point, and, and I'll go along with that. But, you know, I think this is a, a good time to bring up one other thing that I kind of forgot to in the intro. Both of us are getting essentially a an override power. If the, we have a particularly passionate opinion on a particular movie, we are allowed to say what tier we are in. We only get one override. So, say, I think, just because we're not using it, if I think Lightyear is an S tier movie and Andrew does not, I'm gonna say I'm gonna use my override on that one. So second off, I'm gonna let you take this one, Andrew, because I All have right, not seen A Bug's Life, but you have. I can't believe that you haven't seen it. I kind of feel like I failed you as a brother. It was it was awesome. It was a, another great film and it kind of took it to a new, a new level. Uh, with the animations but when it comes to all the great movies that i see down below i'm definitely not putting it as tier it was a really good movie quick question for you because this is a contentious one bugs life or ants oh bugs life i do okay. like ants. have you seen ants i've not seen ants either <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> i would say b tier for bugs life i can't i literally cannot argue with that so we'll do that you know, I think we've taken too long a gap before getting back to Toy Story here. I think we should talk about Toy Story 2. I think it's about the same as Toy Story in terms of, like, narrative. The animation's a lot better, though. Critically, people like Toy Story 2 a lot more. They're not a lot more, but they like it marginally more than Toy Story 1. Not this guy. Toy Story 2, hot take. Toy Story 2 is my least favorite of the Toy Story movies. I told you it was a hot take. That's a bold move. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. You're thinking it's worse. I'm thinking it's about the same. I mean, I wouldn't cry over putting it in B tier. I think C tier would be low, though. Okay, so where are you putting it? I'd probably put it in A, honestly. I don't think it's S tier worthy. I'll put it in B. I'm taking you into account. I know it's my show, but I, I respect your opinions here. So now, <clears throat> I am alive. I am in the world now because this came out welcome to 2001 i i came out june 10th 2001 and this movie came out november 2nd of 2001 so i was alive and that movie is monsters inc baby monsters Woo! inc day-to-day -day life right if somebody says like do you like monsters inc i'd probably be like yeah it's fine it's okay but then i watch it and i'm like this is I really good. Like <laughs> I like Monsters Z. That's a good movie. Like, I literally think there was just like, we have our five things we're really good at animating. Let's make a story out of it. And they did. And man, well, it was yeah, a great I movie. I think that you've always had the, there's monsters under my bed, there's monsters in my closet type kids who are scared and this kind of brought it to life. So I felt like Monsters Inc. was the first one where they really had 
the best narrative flow. And it had the big twist ending that Mr. Water News was in on the whole thing. Spoilers, jeez. Looking at Monsters, Inc., not Monsters University, Monsters, Inc., where's it going? Uh, I'm leaning towards A tier. This is... Okay. I'm cool with I'm cool with A tier for yeah. Monsters, Inc. Okay, because I was going to say, this is probably a bubble. It could be S tier. It's, it's borderline S tier. Yeah, and I definitely think if it had more kind of depth to the story... <clears throat> Like, the story was good, but I think there there's others here that have more depth to them that we'll get to here in a bit. Okay. Finding Nemo. All right, I, I'm going to start before, on this one. Before any explanation. Before, okay, no, go for I don't want to hear any explanation. Just off the top of your head, give me the letter. C. Maybe F. Okay. <laughs> You better have a really good reason. Okay. Finding Nemo by itself, I really don't think in terms of animation, at this point, what we know of Pixar wasn't pushing any new boundaries. The people still looked kind of freaky weird. Finding Nemo is just boring. It's a, there's, there's nothing happens in Finding Nemo. It's slow. The opening scene almost brings you to tears with the barracuda there. and he finds one egg. They had hundreds of beautiful babies and in their anemone and you can't, oh my gosh, it's an emotional roller coaster and I'm debating on whether or not Finding Nemo is worth saving right this second. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, oh my bro, gosh. but Finding Nemo, as soon as we get past that opening scene which is okay i think personally once we get past that it's just have you seen him no go that way and then nemo's stuck in a fish tank yeah and he's gonna go to psycho child it's the girl version of sid and wait cop fishy okay like she's insane but you've got the sharks yeah hello name's bruce yep that's actually a really good for that. that was, <laughs> I know, right? That was on point. Um, oh, dude, you're killing me. I'm sorry. I just, I don't see the majesty there. If you put Finding Nemo as, uh, in C tier, you have to put Finding Dory F. Go ahead. All right. Place it. We're setting it there, and and you know what? We'll we'll go ahead and do this. We we won't even discuss it just because. If Nemo, I'm so sorry. I think Finding Nemo's pretty solid c tier and if finding dory is worse and i'll i'll take andrew's word for it because i haven't seen it then there we go all right what's next i would personally right. say this movie's incredible oh if it's the incredibles uh, is it the incredibles it's the incredibles we got our first s tier we can agree like it's absolutely top tier no questions about it i swear if you say it's not i will punch you through this monitor right now so I'm going to say to you right now what I think of The Incredibles when it comes to my professional opinion. And I've put a lot of thought into this one in particular. Yeah, it's S tier. There's no, <laughs> that's not even a little bit of debate here. It's, Incredibles is darn near a perfect movie. I just can't think of, like, in terms of a relatable story, a great villain, really great animation too. I mean, the animation that I still think personally holds up they, they, they got the first the... It, it's 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 marvel's avengers before marvel's avengers it's it's action-packed there's comedy in it it's it's got the whole we don't want you here but then we need you here it, oh it's so good it's so good let's move on to cars 2006 i'm really conflicted about this one i don't think it's as bad as everybody says but i who says it's bad i love this movie there's a lot of people who don't like Cars as a franchise. Like There's, there's a, a lot of people who can lick my shoe. I don't care. Franchise-wise, maybe not so much. But the first Cars, it, I think it could have been a standalone. It didn't need Cars 2, Cars 3. Hmm. But the reason it happened was because people were calling for it. People wanted Cars 2 and Cars 3. Of all things that I don't think I would have expected to say about a Disney Pixar <clears throat> film is Owen Wilson voices a great car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lightning McQueen as a role, there's a reason he got so merchandisable as he did. It's really the next generation's Toy Story in a lot of ways. 
I don't think quality of a film it's quite up there with something like Monsters Inc. Personally. Well, I'm glad you said that because I think we're gonna agree on this then. Because here's I was going to say if for me, it's a B tier movie, but like B plus. I I think we'll stick with that, and we'll we'll stick it in B tier. Ratatouille, 2007. Okay. This is the one that just never stuck for me. Like I I don't. There's no character development. There's no. There's it, it, yeah no no those people are just wrong. They can I'll argue with them if they want, but when we're done with this list, we'll I think you and I will be just fine looking at it and saying all these movies above Ratatouille are absolutely better than Ratatouille. And that's kind of where I'm at as well. So let's let's tick off some people and put it in F tier. Let's do it. <laughs> um, For those of you watching, we're also Browns fans. There you go. Let's woo! Just make everybody... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have very, very strong opinions on this next one. Uh oh. Very, very strong opinions. Uh oh. 2008's Wally. Um, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you go first. I, I go first a lot here, but just say what you think of Wally, real quick. For those of you watching, I think Grant is going to put it S tier. It's a good movie. Uh, everyone loves Wally. Like the character Wally is the one of, in my opinion, one of the most lovable characters in all of Pixar, and I'll take that to my grave that being said it is not an s tier movie i don't even think it's an a tier movie let's hear what you're passionate about the way that wally was able to as a character relate to this other character that didn't really have any personality and he gave her personality he allowed her to to find herself and it it was just kind of a a beautiful thing watching the movie for that knowledge for the first time of wow, this is just, this is a vision, right? The, Wally is a visionary film where it is somebody putting their passion into in a piece of art. And personally, I think that, oh, I, I'll put it this way, I could understand why people would be bored with this, why people wouldn't think it's the perfect film, why people wouldn't necessarily think it's all that in a can of beans. I can't put it anywhere but S in my mind. Because it's just it's just such a incredible film. Look in the camera right now. I'm I'm doing it. Look me right in the eye mm-hmm. and you tell me right now yep. that Wally is better than Toy Story One, Toy Story Two, Cars, and Monsters Inc. Absolutely, and I'm not gonna let you debate it. Uh well, I am debating it. I'm taking that off of S tier. I'm using my whatever card. I'm smashing your hopes and dreams because Wally is not an S tier movie. Well, okay. Then we, here's what we have to do then, because I was going to use my override and put it in S. Jeez. So we are we oh, are gosh. we are at a standstill right now. This guys. Oh. oh no. I firmly believe that this is an S tier movie, and I. So what do we do? I don't know. I didn't think this would happen. <laughs> you, you, you're the host. <laughs> you didn't think I would argue with you that Wally is an S tier when Toy Story is an A? I thought you would have. When Toy Story 2 is B? I thought you would have some opinion on like Toy Story 2 being an S tier film, and I'd be like, nah, bro, that's not it. And so I was like, no. saving Wally is my like big trump card here, and now you gotta ruin it. No, I, I cannot allow Wally to be above. I don't know that I can allow Wally to be above Finding Nemo. It, it absolutely deserves it. 100% does. And you know what? I'm the host of this show. We're moving on. I'm using my override. And because I have host powers, it's staying in S tier. You still have your override, though. For, okay. YouTube, I want it on record. I do not approve. This is not my tier list anymore. <laughs> this Hasht- is a sham, and I do not approve. Hashtag not my Wally. Moving on to 2009's Up. Up is a great movie. And I think it's definitely riding the coattails of the masterpiece that was Wally. Just really, with that opening scene alone, tells you that it means business. And you see an entire Car. love story in that ten minutes. Yeah, you see and Wally it... go pack up dirt and make a block. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that Up is a fantastic film. I really do, and I I think that it does everything really well i think the concept is really unique and creative it would not work in real life but that's okay i think it's one that you can actually like suspend your disbelief for it i think that the the third act is a little a little forced feeling i think 
I think it's solid. I think it's probably up there. High B tier, low A tier. Rachel just saw my screen and is about to have a heart attack over the fact that you will not let me take Wally off of S tier. <laughs> I know. I told I absolutely I, will not. I, it is crap. <laughs> We've argued about this for 15 minutes now. Let's let's talk about uh, you say it is solid A or B. For me, it is better than a bug's life. It is better than cars. It is better than Toy Story 2. I have to go with A tier for uh, I'm happy with that assessment. I think it's just, it's a really good movie. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 has one of the most emotional endings to any movie I have ever seen. When they're going down to the furnace and they all lock hands and you're thinking, this is the end of it. This is the end of the era. Now, can you imagine if they actually went into the flame and that's how the movie (laughs) ended? I actually really like Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 I thought was an absolutely phenomenal film i love watching the character development not only with the toys but also within andy of him growing up he's not playing with toys anymore what happens to those i mean it's a question that people have been asking for a while and that was answered in toy story 3 and for me it's right up there with the original i'd put it at an a tier or when they're going down the furnace and that whole thing where they're going through the the factory and everything that alone brings it to an a tier for me i would have been okay with it Either way. And I think that shows how good of a story that it was. How good a Toy Story it was. You might be expecting argument from me. I, But because we think that Toy Story 2 is lower than Toy Story 1, both of us, which I'm shocked at, but pleasantly surprised with, I have no, no qualms putting it in A tier. Cars 2. I think Cars 2, I, I'm going to say it, I think Cars 2 is one of the most underrated Pixar movies. I don't think it's as good as Cars 1. I don't think it's as good as Toy Story 2. I think that it's solid, though, as an entertaining film. You could sit and be there for the hour 45 minutes and be entertained by it. I would be willing to put it in C tier. I don't think it's F tier. Like, Rat, I would watch this over Ratatouille any okay. day. Yeah. I, I don't think we'll debate too much on this one, because if you've seen Cars 2, you'd understand why. But I, I, I will say this. I do think that people give it way more flack than it deserves brave (laughs) never saw it never saw it you've seen this one right yeah good (laughs) let me put it this way i saw it and it's like it's almost like a dream that i did right it's like a distant memory it's kind of like ratatouille Uh, not even it, it, it was not offensively bad even like pixar's bad films have some good elements and brave's kind of along the same lines right like Ratatouille, just because it's an F doesn't mean everything about it is awful. Brave's kind of the same way as Ratatouille, where it's like, it, it, okay. it has some good things about it, but the negatives far outweigh the positives, especially for a Pixar film. This really would have fit a lot better into Disney's lineup. And it just like doesn't have the Pixar touch to it. Run the numbers, pal. <laughs> Monsters University. It's not as good as the original. It's not as good as Monsters Incorporated. That being said, I think it was a good one. So for me, I would put it at B tier. Because I absolutely agree. I This is one that I had to watch a lot because of AJ. This was another one kind of like Wally that he watched over and over and over again. So I kind of yep. got sick of a lot of the elements of it. <clears throat> like for me personally, I could put it C tier. But honestly, it's not because it's bad. It's just because I've seen it a million times. Inside Out. I, I haven't seen every minute of it. I've seen probably 80% of that movie. I love Inside Out. I love it as a movie. What I love about it so much is just the fact that it takes such a high-level concept, something that really, if you would sit down and, like, discuss with somebody, it's you're talking Aristotle, Plato, back and forth, right? Like, it's, it's really just taking emotions and taking a deep dive into them, right? But it does so in such a delicate and kind of um, playful way that I, I just... I would never have thought of this movie. That said, I'm kind of conflicted as to whether I'd put it S or A tier. It's just not quite where The Incredibles is, I don't think. I definitely would not put it S tier. It's not on the same level as Incredibles for me. Personally, I would put it B tier. It is really good, and and I think the story is really good. Because I have inklings of S tier, I think we'll, we'll just go A tier split the difference compromise yeah all right so if i'm gonna be completely honest i wanted to 
use my override and put it F tier just to make you mad. Just so that you <laughs> could feel the anger that I felt about Wally. Um, the good dinosaur. Never saw it. So if you've seen it, place it. It's funny. The ones that I've seen that you haven't seen just all happen to be really bad <laughs> by Pixar standards. I think Brave is better than The Good Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur is just... I don't know why it exists. Like, it has no point in existing. I'll say this. The only part worth watching in The Good Dinosaur, like, that I'd go out of my way to see... I think The Good Dinosaur is possibly the worst Pixar film. The only part you need to watch is where they get the bad berries. I don't know what the writers were on that day, but I want some of it. The Cars 3. I think it's about on par with Cars 2, honestly. Um, That's another one that I haven't seen, so... Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like the Toy Story 4 of Cars. It at least had some continuity with the first, unlike Cars 2, which is more just kind of an entertainment flick. I don't think it's as good as the original Cars. I don't think it's... I, I just... I'm going to put it C tier, personally. It could go B tier. I might just have to watch it again. But, like, in my memory, it's like... Eh. It's, it's good. Fair enough. We got Coco. Okay. I'll let you take the lead on this one. Okay. Have you seen Coco? I have. Okay. I had not seen it until a few months ago, where we just kind of okay. made a family movie night out of it. I really am just not all that interested in Day of the Dead stuff, for the most part. Like, it's it's kind of like there's a few different topics that I'm just, like, not big on, sto like, storytelling-wise. And that tends okay. to be one of them. I think it was solid. I think it's definitely... Um, at least in my point of view, <clears throat> I'd say I would probably put it around B tier. Override. This is an S tier movie, and I will <laughs> not be told otherwise. This movie is phenomenal. This movie, uh, especially to the Hispanic culture, Hispanic heritage, this movie is great. And I love that they came out with a Spanish version of it so that if you, the Hispanics don't have to actually listen to English, they can listen to it the entire movie in their native language which is really cool um the the music in it is great the storyline phenomenal the big twist ending absolutely deserves to be s tier it was a great great movie um Let's it gets see. it gets better every time you watch it promise even if you have no idea about dia de los muertos the day of the dead for the hispanic culture and what that means to them you can go in completely unknowing about any of it and going and seeing how seriously they take that in honoring their ancestors and their former family members and um, their heritage is it, really, really cool. And truthfully, this is the one I was saving that card for because Coco deserves to be S tier. Let's do Incredibles 2 is the next in line. I felt like The Incredibles 2 took what The Incredibles 1 had and then dumbed it down. And wh what I mean by that is it kind of stereotyped the characters dash was the homework kid and then violet was trying to get the guy the emotional teenager <laughs> yeah and then mr incredible didn't mr. incredible yeah. yeah didn't have like any significant part in the movie till like the end it was the age of ultron <laughs> of the incredibles um, i like that they picked up right where incredibles one ended it was it was good um i've watched it more than once it kind of the same with monsters university yeah. the b plus tier yeah the, the animation was good the storyline wasn't i didn't hate it and that's kind of what i would, would say about this b tier it is toy story 4 let's let's ruffle some feathers <clears throat> i it's not even between you and me we might have the exact same opinion but having an opinion on toy story 4 ruffles feathers i went into it kind of cynically but then I walked out and I was like, huh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. I was never a big fan of Bonnie anyway. I liked it where I, I really liked the ending of the third one because there didn't have to be any character development on Bonnie. It was, here's a kid who just likes to play with toys. Here you go. And Andy shows her how to play with the toys and who goes with what. That was great. Yeah. Then you come to four and I actually really enjoyed this movie. I was okay with it. They could have gone either way at the end of that film. I, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, and I I walked out of the theater kind of feeling the same way, where it was like, you know, I, as I said, I didn't feel that there was a need for the film to exist, but then I walked out and I was like, they they raised a good point, right? Because they were somehow able to, to get me cynical Jelswick here to go, 
Yeah, I, I could see where this could end up becoming a problem in the future. And they, like, made a pretty good movie. Well, and, like, at the, at the end of the third one, no one was asking questions, the what-if questions. We were all just cool with it. Yeah. But then they're like, mm, well, it's been too long. We're going to bring in these what-if questions for you. I would put it B tier because it, I was not as passionate about it as I was one and three. B tier. This is the last, last one. one. Onward. I honestly love this movie. I thought it was great. It's not S tier for me. Um, it's not as good as Incredibles. Um, but I thought it was a really good film. I went into Onward thinking um, I wouldn't like it, to be quite Cynical honest. Jelswick strikes again. Cynical Jelswick strikes again. The overly fantasy theme to it right i felt like it'd been overdone almost i i liked some of the ideas behind it like the the fairies being the biker gang it, it holds kind of a special place because i really just i this is the one disney pixar film that i looked at from the get-go and said i just don't even really want to watch this i think it looks lame and then i saw it and i was like wow that's a that's a solid movie i think for our last one here i think we could uh we could change things up a bit we've been going b tier a lot a tier, a tier, a tier. Do I... it. Yeah. Woo! There it is. This right here is our definitive, amazing, almost complete, minus the four movies we haven't seen, tier list that we have for you today. I will fight you over Wally. I know where you live. I know where you sleep. I will find you. <laughs> I do not agree. You two, look at me right here. Do not agree. I know you're not looking at me. You're probably just hearing me, but hear me loud and clear. I do not approve of the Wally -E designation in S tier. Wally -E begins with a W, and that's because it is one. So that's about it for our tier list. If you liked it, you know what to do at this point. You can like, you can subscribe, and you can also, if you're feeling extra crazy, you can click that notification bell. All of it helps you become a member of the coveted basement gang. Thank you again to our wonderful guest, Andrew. Andrew, say goodbye to the good people of YouTube. Goodbye, good people of YouTube. He said goodbye to the good people of YouTube. That's about all we got, and I will see you guys in the next video.